Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. If your NFL fade the public video for week number 11 this Sunday, September the 21st. And yes, I'll have the three most public NFL sides for this Sunday in pro football on this video for you in just a moment. And you better pay attention. Fading the public is heating up just like it did last November. Perfect 3-0 sweep last week, fading the three most public sides here in this video. Now 10-2, 83% the past three weeks based on the closing line. And there's been a couple games of which come very close within about a point of that closing line, and the public has failed to cover those. And that's why this video continues to work later in the season, as I told you it would, because the line value becomes so important. I'm going to give you the three most public sides, including a couple games which the lines have already moved a full point off the advanced number from a week ago. Coming up here in just a moment. Don't forget, though, if you want all my official best bets for this Sunday Pro Football, make sure you go to my page at wagertalk.com. Also, don't forget, if you're joining us on Saturday, I got some late-night West Coast Saturday Night College Football best bets. And, of course, don't forget about basketball, number one ranked this year at wagertalk.com in college and pro hoops combined, off to an incredible 25-11 and 11 start as we head into the weekend in college and pro basketball combined. Of course, I know many of you were with me last year when I started 25-7 and seven the first two months in college basketball. Already off to a 4 and one 80% college hoop start, 21 and 10 NBA start combined. That's 25 and 11 in basketball. Now, look, there's a great special going on throughout the week, and you get a full month of any sport for just $99 at wagertalk.com. So if you wanted both college and pro hoops, it'd be $198. I'm going to do it even better. I'm going to give you all four sports for just a dollar more. $199 gets you 30 days and nights of all sports, college and pro football and college and pro basketball, all four sports for just $199, but you must have promo code Merrill199, two R's, one L, Merrill199 gets it done. The next 30 days and nights, all sports for just $199, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Let's look at the three most public sides this Sunday for week 11, September the 21st in the NFL. All three games go at 1 o'clock Eastern. All three are pretty much equally public. Uh, so we'll start in rotation order here. And the uh, first game on the board at 1 o'clock Eastern is going to be the San Francisco 49ers minus the 6.5 points. Uh, now, it's interesting. Last week, the most public uh, play against team was the 49ers on Monday Night Football. And the Rams are actually the Rams are the most public side playing against San Francisco. And needless to say, the 49ers got it done and won the game outright easily. 31-10, and the public, as you all know, is so short-term and fickle. They go from fading the 49ers, and six days later, they're using them as one of the most public plays the very next weekend. Uh, not a good spot for San Francisco here, though. First of all, it's a letdown spot, a non-conference road game against Jacksonville. They win a home underdog divisional game on Monday night. They played the Cardinals the week before that, another divisional foe. And they have another big conference game at home next week against the Minnesota Vikings. So this is a non-conference sandwich situation as a road favorite against a Jacksonville team that is starting to play better football. Uh, Jacksonville, of course, had that huge upset of Buffalo a couple weeks ago, uh, beating the Bills outright as a two-touchdown home dog. They also covered last week, losing by just six at Indianapolis. Uh, so they are playing good football, having covered three of their last four and actually going two and two straight up the last four games overall. And of course, that was after an 0-5 straight up start. Uh, so you could make a case here. Jacksonville could be a little bit of a contrarian call here, to say the least. I do think San Francisco is a little bit better still than the uh, overall general public realizes, better than their 4-5 and five record. They're above average both offensively and defensively statistically, so they should be a winning team. Uh, but once again, just 3-6 and six against the spread this year. And the look-ahead line on this game was 5.5. Now the true line is 6.5. And, and there are some 7s out there as we head into the weekend. Of course, 7, a very key number, about a 5% chance. San Francisco wins by exactly seven points. So once again, this is why fading the public works later in the season as you start to get line value going the other way. And that appears to be the case here. Before the 49ers pulled the upset of the Rams, they were going to be a five and a half point favorite. Now it's six and a half to seven. Uh, once again, San Francisco 49ers, a very public side this week at one o'clock Eastern. Another game at one o'clock Eastern in the NFL. We're going to go to the AFC now. It's the Miami Dolphins. Yes, the three and seven Miami Dolphins are one of the most public sides this week. And as I've always said, it's not necessarily because they're playing on a team. It's just because they're just not playing the other team. And that, of course, is definitely the case with Jacksonville in that last game we talked about. Uh, but the public has just not been playing the Jets all season. There's been several times on this video uh, where one of the most public sides has been opposite the New York Jets. And that is once again the case here. And while Miami is only 3-7 and seven straight up this year, they are off back-to-back straight-up wins and covers. Uh, so this is the Dolphin team that did start 1-7 and seven 
and two and six against the spread. One and seven straight up, two and six ATS, but they've gone two and zero oh straight up ATS their last two weeks. Those last two games beating a, a bad Houston team. Nothing special that, about that, but it was an impressive Thursday night when a week ago when they beat Baltimore's over a touchdown home dog, 22 to 10. Now, one thing Miami's been doing well in those recent wins and covers is been pressuring the quarterback. And that's exactly why the New York Jets made the change this week uh, from basically second, third stringer Mike White is out. And former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco is in. 36-year-old Joe Flacco. We'll see what he has left uh, in his uh, career here. And obviously uh, not expecting too much, but they do feel he has a better, more consistent read on teams at pressure. Uh, interesting, though, the Jets had him last year, don't forget. He started week five when, at the time, Sam Darnold was the starter, went down with injury. And then in week six, uh, Flacco made his second start of the season last year against his Miami Dolphins squad and lost 24 uh, nothing. So obviously he didn't fare well against the Dolphins last year. Uh, we'll see if he does better this year. Uh, once again, hard to make a case for the Jets. They're not a good team, obviously, but still laying over a field goal on the road with a 3-7 and seven Miami Dolphin team is probably not a great move either. Let's look at the advance line. Before last week's results, uh, the advance line on this game is going to be two and a half. Uh, of course, Miami wins outright against Baltimore, as I mentioned. The Jets get blown out by the Buffalo Bills. By the way, I had a strong best bet on the Bills last week for my clients at wagertalk.com. Uh, I thought it was a good bounce back spot for Buffalo off that bad loss at Jacksonville. So I don't read too much into the Jets getting blown out against one of the best teams in the league. But the look ahead line was going to be two and a half. It's now three and a half. That is a huge difference. As you all know, the follow my videos weekly, there's about a 10% chance NFL teams win by exactly a field goal in this price range. So the Jets going from 2.5 to 3.5 gives them a 10% better chance now of covering. And a lot of these games late in the season do come down to line value. That's one of the reasons last year when I started this video in late November, we went 31-7 and through the Super Bowl fade in the public. As you remember, many of those games, we had teams that won straight up, or the public rather, had teams that won straight up but failed to cover, mainly Kansas City last year. They did it quite often. But it's already happening this year. In fact, the last three weeks, we've won all three weeks fading the public. As I mentioned at the start, going 10-2 and two the last three weeks on this video by fading the public sides. A couple of those games, though, landed within a point of the closing line one way or the other. Um, so once again, line value is very important. In fact, that 10-2 and two run the last three weeks, there's been at least two or three of those games in which the difference between the look-ahead line the previous week and the actual closing line made the difference. Uh, we'll see if that's the case here. Once again, Miami's gone from 2.5 to 3.5. They're a public side. One more game at 1 o'clock Eastern, and I actually agree with the public on this one. And I, you know, I don't always disagree. That's why I say use this as a filter in your handicapping process. I'm going to let you know what that game is here in just a moment. Quick reminder, though, if you do want my official best bets, the games I'm actually using this Sunday, same games my clients get as well. Keep in mind, when I started 25 years ago in 1996, a quarter century ago, it's the same methods I've used ever since. If I'm using the game, my clients get it as well. I've won consistently for a quarter century, 25 straight years in all sports. And you too can get my personal best bets on a daily basis at wagertalk.com. And you can do so with a fantastic discounted promo code, Merrill199. If you've been thinking about trying basketball, now's the time to do it. You're basically getting it for free. You know, normally one month of all sports is $349. Football alone for a month is $249. I'm giving you football plus basketball for just $199. So you're getting a $50 discount off a single sport and getting the other one for free. Basketball off to a 25-11 and 11 start this season as we head into the weekend. Number one ranked at wagertalk.com. Of course, it's not a surprise. Last year, 25-7, and 78% 7, start for the first two months in college hoops alone. Basketball is great this time of the year. I know football is great, but so is basketball. Get an all-sports subscription right now. Save big and win big over the next month. Get you the next 30 days and nights for $199. Merrill, $199 is the promo code you must have. Think about what you're going to get next week. we got the Thursday Thanksgiving games. we got tons of Saturday, Friday, and Saturday college football next week. Of course, we got tons of NFL left. The bowl games start in December as well. Next 30 days and nights for $199 plus all that basketball as well. Number one ranked basketball, Merrill, M-E-R-R-I-L, $199. Two R's, one L, Merrill, $199. Next 30 days and nights, all sports. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quick with the shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Let's look at the third most public NFL play this week. And I actually agree with the public on this one. And that's the Baltimore Ravens minus the six to six and a half. Here's an example where the advanced look ahead line really isn't much different. Because as I mentioned earlier, the Ravens did not look good in their last game, losing outright as a nine point road favorite at Miami on Thursday night. But they now have a little extra prep time for this game. 
Uh, the Bears, meanwhile, lost a national TV game as well. They actually covered against Pittsburgh, losing by two a couple Monday nights ago. They have a bye week coming in. So both teams on extended rest. I think that favors the Ravens, though, the better team. They've lost two of their last three games. Uh, they failed to cover three straight. And because of that, we actually get some value here. The look-ahead line a week ago is going to be Baltimore minus six. As we head into the weekend, it's currently six at some spots, six and a half at others. So once again, not a big difference here. So of the three games this week, this is the one in which I would not necessarily fade the public. I think the Ravens do bounce back here with a win. Baltimore's problem this year, well, a couple things. First of all, Baltimore's not forcing turnovers. Uh, they have not forced more than one turnover since, early, uh, since mid-September. In fact, they've had no turnovers forced in those last two games, and that's one of the reasons they've gone 0-2 ATS. Um, fumbles are very random in the NFL. Interceptions, not as much so. And the Ravens do have a poor pass defense this year, one of the worst statistically in the NFL. Uh, so probably not a fluke. They're not forcing a ton of turnovers. But I don't think Chicago can take advantage. This is one of the worst passing offenses in the league. Even with Justin Fields getting more experience, this team is still averaging just 5.5 yards per pass attempt and only 16.5 points a game. Uh, so it's not a good matchup for Chicago. Teams coming off a bye week do no, normally have more offensive punch. I'm just not sure the Bears have the weapons to do anything here. And it does look like a focused bounce back spot for the Ravens, who are still one of the better teams in the AFC. So once again, the Baltimore Ravens minus the six to six and a half are a public side on Sunday. But I don't disagree with this one. I'd probably stay away from it. Once again, public's not always right. They're not always wrong. Uh, but more times than not, you want to look to fade them. This is not one of those spots, so um, I would agree with Baltimore. So once again, look at the three most public sides this week in the NFL. All go at 1 o'clock Eastern on Sunday, November the 21st, week 11. Uh, the public likes the San Francisco 49ers, minus 6.5. I even see a 7 out there as we head into the weekend, so keep an eye on that. That line is climbing. Uh, public likes the Miami Dolphins, minus 3.5. Once again, the look ahead was 2.5. Now it's 3.5. So both those games are a point higher than they would have been a week ago. And the public likes the Baltimore Ravens minus the six to six and a half. Pretty much on line with what the uh, look ahead line was a week ago. So this one, I don't think you're giving up as much line value as maybe the other two spots. Hey, let me know your thoughts on these three games. Let me know where you agree or disagree with the public. I always love to hear your comments below here on YouTube. And don't forget, I want to know your best bets as well. Let me know who you like this Sunday in the NFL. Hey, if you're joining us on Saturday afternoon or evening, it's not too late to get two strong late night best bets in college football on my page right now. My full NFL Sunday card is, of course, available as well for my clients. And don't forget about basketball. Number one ranked this year at wagertalk.com in college and pro hoops start with a 25 and 11 start as we head into the weekend in NBA and NCAA combined. And you basically can get basketball for free for the next 30 days when you use Merrill 199. Normally all sports is 349. Football alone is 249. Get basketball and football for the next month for just $199 with promo code Merrill199. Two R's, one L. M E R R I L 199. Merrill 199. 30 days and nights, all sports for just $199. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to Wager Talk TV, and hey, check out next week. I'll be guest hosting Wager Talk today at noon Eastern. 9 a.m. Pacific every day right here on this channel. And of course, you can catch all the replays of these videos and my daily shows. I'll also be on the College Basketball Show Monday afternoon, archived 24 7 right here on Wager Talk TV on YouTube. It's a great reason to subscribe and a great reason to hit that bell for instant alerts when we go live with new shows and videos every day. Thumbs up, like, and most importantly, once again, leave me a comment below. I honestly read each and every comment and I reply back to all of them. I love the feedback. I love the support. Let's all win together this weekend in college and pro football and college and pro basketball, of course, as well. Check out that offer, promo code Merrill199 at wagertalk.com. For Steve Merrill, best of luck this weekend. I'll talk to you again soon right here on Wager Talk TV.